Windy wisp of wintry white Shining in the sparkling light Softly settling through the town Brightening spirits all around Scarves and parkas, caps aglow Bright like like flowers through the snow So the season sends our way Blessings of a winter's day So the season sends our way Blessings of a winter's day Wreaths and trees and Santa bells Open hearts and full food shells Shops and candles, lights and logs Chocolate, cider, spiced eggnog Friends who come from near and far Lights that mingle with the stars Songs that rise in joyful flight Blessings of a winter's night Songs that rise in joyful flight Blessings of a winter's night. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Here I am. Way up here. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Would you believe that I am the Muldoon family Christmas tree angel? elevated to the top of the tree this year and must have been very, very good, although I can't remember specifics. Memory lapses seem more common lately. (laughs) One thing that made it easier also is that Joe couldn't find one of the pieces and our tree is two feet shorter this year. It was easier to fly up on my aging wings. (laughs) It's been a good year. Joe and I remain healthy, although our insurance wouldn't cover physical therapy for our wings. It's also been a busy year. We were able to visit many family members. Let me show you. My brother and his younger family in Florida. Kids 16, 7, and 5. Bing! His older daughter in Virginia had her first baby, making us great aunt and uncle again. Bing! Then we flew away to Boston. We visited Joe's sister and brother in Boston. Bing! (laughs) Our niece and her husband in Boston hosted a barbecue so we could also visit with cousins while we were there. Bing! Unfortunately, we didn't get to visit our other niece and her family, who now live in California. After Boston, we traveled to Newport, Rhode Island for the 50th anniversary of the completion of the Newport Suspension Bridge that Joe helped build. To my amazement and Joe's delight, the bridge authority allowed Joe to climb to the top of one of the towers. Maybe they noticed his wings. (laughs) (laughs) Bing! 
The entire celebration was great fun. And Joe was treated like a minor celebrity because he wrote a song about building the bridge. You can see it on Joe's GodBlessTheBiker.com website. Joe also appears in a documentary from Rhode Island PBS, The Newport Bridge, a Rhode Island icon. Here at home, grandson Ian graduated from high school. And granddaughter Kelly is enjoying her senior year in high school. We are proud of them both. For the first time, Joe's cousin Brian Elwood visited from Dallas, which was a great treat. He bing. <laughs> is there a bing? That's, that's good enough. Bing is good. Okay, well, I'll go back to for the first time, okay? Are you ready? For the first time, Joe's cousin Brian Elwood visited us from Dallas, which was a great treat. He accompanied us to the 50th anniversary celebration of the Walk-In Counseling Center. Now that I think about it, there's a good deed. I was one of the founding members of that. By invitation, we were asked to start a counseling center to counsel street kids and other people in need of free counseling. <laughs> Bing! Of course, we remain loyal servants of our cat, Smokey, who gives us great pleasure at home. Bing. Joe and I are still basketball fans, sharing season tickets to professional men's and women's teams. We also attended the NCA semifinals and finals, that's college, which were held in Minneapolis this year. Bing. The highlight of our greeting. Did you ever wonder what Joe did two years ago to lose his wings? Bing! Now that he is back in our Father's good graces, <laughs> Bing! <laughs> the story may be told. Please note, Joe sends it with a PG-13 warning and a plea to show the kids, what we call the little bunnies version to them. Otherwise, Joe and I may both lose our wings. First Christmas is cold to say, the little baby whimpering in the hay, need a blanket's food, something to make some heat. Then the three wise guys pulled packages out, frankincense myrrh, so devout, they laid it all at the shivering parents' feet. The young mother just rolled her eyes, looked up prayerfully to the skies, if ever there was a bad joke, this was it. So on the very first Christmas morn, the main holiday tradition was born of buying and giving some useless piece of shit. There's a factory deep in China where a little girl works all day Cutting out plastic doodads, they ship them all away Holds no resentment, no envy, not a bit She just wonders who would ever want this useless piece of shit Mall on mall, shelf on shelf, rack on rack, elf for elf I wander around hoping to get inspired for something worthy of my girl, for my little precious pearl, something that she might treasure and admire. Something to show I'm sensitive, something that I'll be proud to give, reflective of my humor, soul, and wit. Then helpless as the walking dead, I face my fate and my worst dread, and I'll pick out one more useless piece of shit. 
No matter how you wrap it, how colorful be the bow. Even when she smiles with glee, deep down you always know. Can't wait to tell her girlfriends about the champion dimwit. Who bought the most amazing world class useless piece of shit. So every year at Louie's Bar, the guys all gather from near and far to lament the tragic story of their lives. Though each of us had tried again, ain't no use, you can't pretend, didn't disappoint, girlfriends and wives. We muddle on through Christmas Day, somehow she loves me anyway, and to save her time, I wrote my own old bit. No one could say before he died, time after time he didn't try not to come home with some useless piece of shit. Now meanwhile back in China, that little girl comes home, gives money to her mama with that love they've always known. It ain't much but it's something, let's give thanks to the idiot halfway across the world who bought that useless piece of shit. No, it ain't much but it's something, give thanks to the idiots halfway across the world who bought that useless piece of shit.